Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Merrick from Mac Touch Plus. Today we're going to create an awesome diagnostic drive. The first thing we need to do is partition our external hard drive. To do this, we'll be using Disk Utility. Remember, any data on the drive will be erased. Select your external hard drive. Select Partition. And select three partitions. This will make sure the drive will be able to boot up Intel based Macs. So we can easily identify the partitions during setup. Let's give them each a unique name. The installer only needs to be very small, so we'll resize this to about 15 gigabytes. We'll do the same to the triage partition, but set it to 60 gigabytes to let us install any additional software we might want to use. The rest of the space will be kept for the spare partition. If you ever need to recover data from a Mac, having this large empty space will definitely be useful. Hit partition, and Disk Utility will partition the drive using the options we've set. You might get Time Machine asking you if you want to use the drive for backups. Click Don't Use whenever it appears. Now we have our drive partitioned, it's time to set up the installer. Go to your applications folder and open Lion Disk Maker. Pick the OS X version you will be using, in this case we're using Mountain Lion. We'll be creating a boot disk and using another type of disk. Pick the installer partition. Once you start buying Disk Maker, it's best to leave your Mac to it. During the process, windows will appear and move, icons get copied and the cursor will move as well. Don't worry, this is all part of the process. You'll get a message as soon as it's finished. Now we've copied the installer over, we will now install Mountain Lion to the second partition, labelled Triage. Go to your Applications folder and open the Install OS X Mountain Lion app. During the installation, the app will ask you where you want to install it. To see all the available destinations, click the Show All Disks button and select Triage. Enter your password and start the installation. The app will take a few minutes whilst it copies some files it needs, then it will restart your Mac to complete the installation. That's it, you now have a drive with a basic version of Mountain Lion ready to use and a full installer of Mountain Lion. You won't need to spend hours downloading the installer if you ever need to reinstall Mountain Lion.